Yo, so today I'm going to be breaking down a hyper pop loop in the style like Ken Carson, Playboy Cardi, and then throwing some drums on it. Pineapple. So just before we get started, all the sounds in this are one shots from Sunboy's new kit. Pretty sure it's called punk so if you like what you hear definitely go check it out i'll put the link in the description all right so the first sound that i used is this lead called pain but i used it more like a synth rather than a lead and i came up with this pattern using that same kind of thing that i did in the other video that was pretty much just like this but using this kind of uh, bass note progression makes it feel like really dark so i'll go ahead and play that by itself and I just kind of use those pauses to make it sound a little cooler and it works pretty well. And then I just went in after I uh, cut it off and added the pauses, I went ahead and filled those in with a little bit of higher notes and tried to create a cool sounding melody. So really there's not much to it. I just kind of clicked around till I got something I liked. So here's what this melody sounds like. And there's no variation or anything. It's pretty much just a, a four of our loop repeated over. Second sound I added is this lead, same kit of course, called To The Moon. And I think I saw this, I think in a Shark Boy tutorial, but he took a lead and then added these little chops and it makes it sound like really wiggly and distorted. So I did that same thing. And in case you're wondering how you get leads to be like glidey, when the, their one shots is I like to just uh, use this envelope where everything's turned down uh, except the hold and then you go over here to the wrench go over to the poly section I turn the slide up to 0 0.06 put the max on one and then put porta and mono on the clicked on and then it'll make it bendy so it goes all slidey yeah so this just kind of copies some of the notes from like the top line and the other one then i added those little wiggly boys like i said before and yeah i think it's a pretty cool pattern so here's this and then again this is pretty much just a four bar loop but i just uh, duplicated it over and just to create variation, because this is really repetitive, I switched the wiggly boy from here to up here and just switches it up just a little bit. Next, I went in, grabbed another lead. This one's called Bipolar Bag. It's very similar to the uh, to the Moon lead, but I switched up the pattern a little bit. So I think I inverted this note, took out like the little wiggly chops and just overall just like messed around with the octaves and stuff just to create some variation added this little chop and sweep down here and just copied it over. So this is only a two bar pattern just copied over. This accents the first lead kind of nicely, but it also works really well on its own. So here's this. Yeah, so again, very simple pattern. And I think in general for these kind of melodies, in my opinion, you gotta keep them kind of simple. So after that, I added this pluck called Up Uppity and it just goes, uh, well, it goes Up Uppity. Uh, that's pretty much it. It just copies notes in the scale, but yeah, here's what this sounds like. And really what this does is just lead into a synth that I'll show probably next, but does a good job at that. It's a nice little accent melody. So then the synth I was talking about is just the root note of the chord and it's the tall sprite synth. Sounds like this. So you can hear that if these are played together, they kind of lead into one another. They're just kind of nice. They accent each other, accent the melody very adequate and then the one sound that i didn't use from the kit is this bass from a serum it's the rude one from the omega bank which is a free bank you can go grab that and just copies the uh, bass notes and i left the chops in there so it sounds pretty cool
very simple but does give it that low end for the intro then for the mixing really nothing too crazy on the main synth have this eq a distortion i think it's the sum oomph preset uh, not really sure but i turned it down uh, but this eq to kind of cut the highs to make a uh, room for the lead so everything isn't like clustering together and then an imager just to widen it just a little bit next on the first lead didn't do anything on the second lead have an imager boosted all the way and then reverb on the pluck just reverb on the uh on the low lead i just have uh, this eq to make sure it's a low lead and then on the base i just have it cut off here so it sounds really deep and dark and then i also rendered the bipolar lead out and reversed it for a little bit of variation in the melody and then i put the old telephone preset on and then lowered this uh, five knob and then also more reverb so that's just a little bit of a variation and then with the arrangement again nothing special uh, just have this playing when there would be like a major change in the beat, I guess. And then just kind of took everything in and out. And then, of course, like I said earlier, this is the bipolar lead and it's reversed and uh, chopped up. So with those effects and being reversed, sounds like this. And I just have that pop in in the melody uh, twice and it adds just a little bit of a variation. And then last thing is this gross beat. Uh, like intro drop into the drum thing I didn't want to do the one beat gate thing that I really I always do so I use this basic four preset and it's just kind of like repeats the notes so it's a little bit uh, different than just having it go straight into the drums yeah so that's it for like mixing and arrangement so I'll play the first little bit of the loop and then get started on the drums <laughs> Yeah, so that's what the final loop sounding like. I like how it turned out, considering that I'm not the best at these like whole lot of red style melodies. But I also ended up pitching it down one, which makes it in a D minor. Yeah, so now I'm gonna get into the drums. Hopefully they turn out decent.
all right yeah so that's gonna be pretty much it for the tutorial i think the drums came out decent hopefully but yeah thanks for watching uh yeah well my bad for the missing video on monday this was supposed to come out then but then i made a dark video instead which will come out on friday and i didn't want to do two dark like melody videos right in a row that kind of seemed weird so my apologies for the missing video but yeah thank you for watching uh, have a splendid rest of your day here is the final beat